Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we're continuing our Forza Motorsport 8 career let's play. Uh, in the last episode we actually started, we did the uh, first sort of walkthrough of the game and it was absolutely amazing. I really really like the game so far. Um, I think the graphics are amazing, there's loads of incredible cars uh, in the last episode, we bought our first car, which was the Mustang. Um, we did a few races in that. We did the Builders' Cup Challenge, I think it was called, or, or Builders' Cup um, Championship. And that was really good. Um, I learned a few things about the game. We turned the traction control off, and that made it a lot better to drive. Um, so that was something I learned. Um, but I want to have a quick look at the cars. Like I said, I bought the premium pack. Um, so we get a few cars off the bat. You can see there we've got 600,000 credits. So we might even go and buy a car today. So these are the featured cars. Uh, the KTM Expo GT2 is actually just added to Horizon 5, which is quite interesting. So that is in the game. Uh, we've got the new Subaru BRZ Toyota GT86 as well. Same car. Oh, this is a nice car. Okay, these are quite rare in real life. Uh, an Alpi GTA Le Mans. Um, in real life, these are pretty rare cars, and it's quite nice to see that in motorsports. So that's cool. We've got uh, AMC. Um, we've got the DBS as well. That's quite cool. we got a DB4 Zagato. That's cool. Okay. Oh, we got the Chrysler. The Valiant Charger is back. Yes, I really miss this car in Horizon 5, and I'm glad that it's in Motorsport, because this is one of my favourite cars of all time. Uh, some of these are just going to be like reminiscent cars of um, that have been in previous titles. Not sure if I've seen this one before, the Holden Monaro GTS, uh, the 327. Obviously, we've had this one before, the 1973 Monaro, but it's nice to see an older Monaro. No LFA, that's a bit sad, because that is one of the nicest sounding cars. We've got the uh, Lola T70, I love that car, it sounds beautiful. Big V8 British uh, racing machine. we got the RX-3 and the Cosmo back, that is cool. Um, let's see what McLarens we've got here. Are we going to have any older McLarens? We've got a few Nissan race cars. That's quite cool. I like this. The Tomica Skyline Turbo Super Silhouette. What a name. That is uh, brilliant. And we got my favourite Skyline of them all. The 73 2000 GTR. Yes, this is my favourite Skyline of all time. Um, Porsche. We've got loads of Porsches. Um, loads and loads of Porsches. This is nice. Uh, 1993... 911 Turbo S La how do you say that? Leichtbau? Leichtbau. We've got the V6 Clio. Lovely, lovely car. Sounds beautiful. Looks beautiful. We've got the uh, Renault Turbo. Renault 5 Turbo. Love that car. We've got some old Golfs in here. Oh, we've got the old Scirocco 16 valve. That's cool. Loads of cool cars in there. Loads of... Uh, good choices for our first car so we've got uh, modern performance hatchbacks we've got hyundai veloster n it looks like a 2021 golf and is that a clio no a megan rs um so we're gonna have to pick one of these um oh ignore me we actually got a choice of nine eligible cars okay Right, so we already have two cars that we could use. Uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got the RS3 Audi. We've got a Focus RS. We've got uh, Hyundai Veloster N Forza Edition and just a normal version. We've got the John Cooper Works GP. Uh, Meno, Renault Megane RS. The WRX STI Hatchback. We got the Astra VXR. That was actually very quick in the previous like 
uh, series. So in the last episode, we raced the Mustang against one of these, and it was actually very competitive. Uh, and we've got the Golf R. Not a fan of the Golf. Don't really like Vauxhalls. Lewis will kill me for not taking the Subaru again, but I'm not going to. I'm half tempted by the Renault, because I know that they're quite fast. They're like 300 horsepower. Um, I'm not sure if they're all-wheel drive as well. I am a big Mini guy myself, so I think we're going to go with the Mini. But I am liking the Focus RS as well. Um, I know that they're very, very nice cars, but we're going to go with the Mini. We've got to. We have to. I'm sorry, guys. Right, so here we go. Laguna Seca. I believe it's in America. I could be wrong on that. Um, not 100%. I recognize that corner though. I, I'm now thinking it's not in America. We can do practice. Let's start the practice. We'll do like one practice lap because I think we've got like five races. Oh. It's a growly boy. There's a bit of understeer. Of course, it is front wheel drive. It's a little hatchback. Um, yeah, like I said, I think there's five races in this series. Oh, that's very, very loud. Just going to turn that down a bit. Ooh. Okay, it's the first corner and we're already on. So, if you missed the last episode, then um, we are running this with no ABS, no traction control. Um, we did turn off the um, launch control and also traction control as well in the last episode and I have this on manual semi-automatic gear change so oh, okay and there we go across the line finish the practice let's go straight to the race now and actually beat some driver cars now we did fairly well um, in the Mustang uh, we ended up coming, I think, third in the final race. So um, we sort of improved in each race. So um, I'd like to be better than that. Uh, okay, we're actually in like 12th position. Our predicted finish is third to fifth. I'm happy with that. I'd like to get fifth. Uh, I'd like to get fifth? No, I'd like to get third. Third would be great. Um... We can go ahead and look at all the drivers if we want to. Uh, we did that last time, so not going to bother with that. Um, we are up against cars that are a lot, well, I wouldn't say a lot more, but quite a bit. Maybe have at least 100 more horsepower than us. Focus RS behind us probably does. But here we go. Let's see what we can do. We are off the line. Astra VXR is up the inside. Whoa, we get it pushed out wide a little bit. There's another GP1 in front there. A jump on the brakes early down here. Whoa. Get squeezed by the RS. Right, let's see if we can get past that focus. We're gonna dive up the inside here. See if we can outbreak him. We can. I was maybe a little bit too. Oh, there was a small bit of contact there. Through the corkscrew. Here we go. Oh, there's a bit of contact on the pink mini. We got a big bounce over the curb there. But we did make up a position. Alright, let's see if we can chase down the two VXRs. I don't know what's leading. I think maybe a golf. Hell catching that. The two VXRs are. Oh, there's just enough room to go through the middle. Oh, and there's a bit. Oh, a big bout of understeer there. I'm going to lose out position. That was some terrible driving from me there. We lost a couple of positions. I was maybe a little bit too um, aggressive there going through the middle of the two passengers. Oh, we're off again. We're going way too fast. I don't like them pull the cars through. We need to hold this position. We 
we've got this lap and one more to try and make up at least one more position. The blimp is flying around above us, Boston blimp. So we've got a bit of oversteer there, but we kept it on the track. That was actually nice and controlled through there. Slow it down quite a lot for that corner. It's a horrible, horrible corner that one. Blimp is coming right overhead as we come into the corkscrew for the final time. This is a horrible, horrible little chicane corner thing. We're off the track again there. We've got another off track warning. I think we would have been competitive with those two Astras. Sadly, we didn't have enough time to catch up. That was a shocking race from me. Um, a 148 lap time. The other minis, they were doing 149, 148 as well. So we were actually quite a competitive lap time, although we went off a couple of times. Okay, this time we're at Lime Rock Park. I'm guessing this is also in America. Um, not heard of this circuit before, but from the looks of it, it's kind of like uh, an oval shape. Um, not like a perfect NASCAR oval, but it's fairly circular. It doesn't look like there's any sharp corners, which I think is going to be good for the Mini. So we'll have a little practice and see how we get on. Let's see, uh, see how the little Mini copes on this circuit. Okay, I have control. Clockwise. Okay, yeah, uh, we can't get away with it. Oh dear. Well, that hasn't gone well. <laughs> right, stick it in reverse. Quick little G turn. That will have damaged the car slightly, so it might not drive quite as nice now. Seems to be okay. I think I've only got um, like visual damage on, so I don't think it actually takes any. Like, I think it's only cosmetic damage. It doesn't actually take any like damage to the car. Oh, we are off! Oh, we've actually flipped the mini over. Okay, that is a new one. Okay, this has really not gone very well. Okay, let's hit rewind. I think this is the first time we've actually had to rewind. Whoa, look at that. Many, many flips. Flip, flip, flip. Uh, let's resume from the start of the corner here. Okay, let's not do that. Coming up to our final practice lap. Right, there we go. Practice over. Didn't go very well. We hit a tyre and we flipped the car multiple times. So, um, yeah, I would not call that a successful um, practice. Let's just go straight to the race. Um, our predicted is 7th to 9th. Well, we were 7th in the last one. So... Okay, yeah. Um, I'd like to beat what it says, to be honest. Alright, let's continue. That is the pink mini that we beat in the last one. Is now on a podium position. How far down the ranks are we? Right. Let's not give it full beans off the line. Okay, right, there we go. I apologise if I go quiet at any point, just because I'm concentrating. Right, we've got the GTI on the inside. We can outbreak that, that is good. The pack is getting away from us a little bit. I don't know what those little hyoid bay things are. It's not a velocity, it's something else. Ooh, Cleo, why are you breaking there? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh. We've punted the back of a different focus this time. We're actually doing quite well. 
up into eighth position. Oh, there was a bit of heavy contact on the RS there. But we will out drag it down the straight. Let's see if we can get the Astra here. This is a fun little circuit actually. I do like this circuit a lot. Astra's having a break. We're not going to, so we're going to have the momentum up the hill. Can we get to this corner before it? Yes, we can. And that means we're on the inside. The Astra cannot cover it this time, and we get past. What a lovely overtake. It took most of the lap, but we did make it stick. And we come onto the start finish straight in clean air. The Astra has fallen way back. It is another RS. Okay. Probably has about 100 more horsepower than we do. So we're going to have to out. Whoa. We've got a little bit of a twitch there. That's upset the car quite a lot through that section. Right, we don't actually need to break through here. We can just have a coast. And that gives us momentum up the hill, which that RS doesn't have. Because it had a dive on the brakes. Right, we have closed quite a lot on that car through that lap, which is great. I'm learning the circuit, I'm learning where we need to break, I'm learning how to drive the Mini to its potential. We have got the momentum down the straight, we're going to be on the inside. Lots and lots of tyres squeal, I am punishing those tyres, but we are on the grass. The RS is probably going to... Oh no, the RS went off as well! Oh dear! That has not gone well for the Ford. Right, coming into the first corner again. Big dive on the brakes. Get it turned in early. That was absolutely perfect through that first corner there, I would argue. How lovely on the next corner. Set it up for this one. Tires are squealing away. The Astra has fallen back. That means that we are on the right line. It was a lovely section through there, actually. We got that perfect, I would argue. Right, this is a little uphill section. We have a big break on the entry. We have plenty of momentum going up the hill. If we want to come past, they're going to have to go round. They're not going round. Okay, that was a little bit sneaky on the last lap there. Um, but, you know, I left plenty of space for them to go round. The driver tires are not that smart, so they didn't actually. Our best lap was a 1 minute 2, which I think was actually the fastest lap. We had a couple of penalties. Um, but, yeah, not a bad race, actually. Much, much better than the previous one. I liked that circuit quite a lot. We climbed up into fourth position by the end of it. So that's going to put us a lot higher up for our next race on the uh, on the on the grid um, I think that is well that's how it works in real life but I think that's how it's working in this series um, that the better you place the higher up the grid you are going um, we could maybe find some nicer wheels for it uh, we've still got 300 things available these look a bit nicer although we'd have to go and paint the car yeah, let's go with those. I like those. No, I'm not going to say it, but I'd like to be on the podium this time. Let's see what we can do. Alright, here we go. About 5,000 off the line. Boot it. And then there we go. Second. I like the uh, sort of like Opal Manta design on the Astra, that was cool. I should be focusing on car design. Let's focus on getting up the leaderboard, right. Oh, a little bit on the rev limit there. There is a bit of contact. We did have a little touch on the RS there. I had a lift because everyone was braking, but we didn't need to. Can't get to the inside of the Hyundai. We'll go around the outside of it. Hyundai and the Mini 
three wide on what is quite a narrow circuit. Oh, something had a big break there. The Mini's throwing cones at us. Right, into this corner. Fourth is what we want. We don't actually need to break. Just coast around here. We're right on the apex. That was maybe a little bit too tight. Right, we're right on the back end of the Astra. Can we get past it before this corner? Astra is going to be to the inside, but I think we can outbreak it. We cover the inside. That was lovely through there. Alright, can we get the inside of... Oh, I think it's actually an RS3. I couldn't tell with that design on. We will pass it. And we will hold the position through the chicane. That's perfect through there. I love this corner here, this like U shape. It just seems to keep going on forever. Alright, what is that in front of us? Could be another RS3. We're up onto a podium position. If we can hold this, that is fantastic news for us. The lead car is getting away from us slightly, but this yellow one in just in front of us, we are catching up to him. We don't actually need to break as much through the chicane here. Whoa! That's thrown us off the racing line slightly, so I didn't want to go into the back of the hill. Are slightly better than it through here. We've got the momentum. Golf is covering the inside, but it's not going to matter. We will get past it before the corner, I think. We have. We're up into second position. What is happening here? this next goal. This is going very, very well. Now that I've said that, we're going to have a massive crash and probably roll the car again. Golf is a little bit wide. Can we dive to the inside? We can. We had a slight push on it, but we are fast. What a fantastic little move that was. Okay, and now we've got a full lap in clean air, hopefully to make a bit of distance on those two cars behind us. Okay, here we come down the start finish straight. It's going to be the very first race that we have won. We finished first at the Watkins Glen short circuit. That is absolutely fantastic. I really like that circuit actually, um, now that I've driven it a bit. In the horrible, horrible rain, in the mini. Um, I think we might have even had the fastest lap time, which is fantastic. So there we go, we've won our first race, and it was in a mini. There we go, on the podium position between the two golfs. Right, we are off to Miami next, Homestead Miami Speedway. So this is actually a NASCAR track with um, a bit of like internal uh, track work in the middle. There we go. We got the little pinky mini behind us. Okay, and off the line, we're going to be overtaken by literally everything. The STI is in front of us. And the blue focus is going to try and make that stick. And not going to manage. Oh, the STI is off into the grass. Unlucky for them. We got the lead pack of cars in front of us. Another focus is off this time. I think that was the same focus that went off in the last race. So we're already up to a fourth position here. We're going to have an early dive on the brakes down here. This hairpin is horrible. Pink Mini is going to make that one stick. It's going to be right where I want it to go, but we're going to have better momentum coming out that corner, I think. We're going to overtake it, or re-overtake it, down the straight there. This corner you can take pretty quick. And then when you see 
50 to 50 sign. Slam on the brakes down there. That little pink mini is staying with us. Focus is all over the show. What is that in front of us? Is it another focus? Could be. I fear we're not going to catch up to the lead car. Oh no, it's on a horrible. Oh no, it's an Astra. Well, they are horrible as well. It's the Astra with the cool opal livery on it. Coming up to the third lap now. Let's see if we can do anything about that Astra here. This is where we push the focus a little bit off on the last lap. Right up the duff of that Astra. Alright, let's see if we can do it down this straight or at least get to the inside before the hairpin. It might not be the right place to do an overtake. This is, we're going to try it. Oh, it has given us space, which was very kind. So, right, we're past the Astra. We've got one more car in front. Whoa! A horrible little bounce through there off the apex. Right, we've not really closed on the car in front too much. We've got two more laps to do something about it. Right, we have closed on the car in front slightly, although I'm on the grass on the exit, that doesn't help us. I think it's going to be too little too late to catch that car. But second place, that's not going to be too bad if we can hold it for another lap. Still got one lap to go. The car in front could make a mistake, that is possible. I've seen a couple of the focuses and the STI go off, as well as myself multiple times. Gonna defend that inside line. Astra is not going to be close enough to pass us. Oh, way too much speed coming into the hairpin there. We were a bit wide. We hit a cone. I think because I'm pushing the car so much trying to catch up, we're actually making small little mistakes, which is costing us time to catch up to whatever that thing is. Yeah, it was uh, not to be, unfortunately. Uh, but there we go. We crossed the line in second position, which is not, not too bad. Excuse me. Um, I think we did actually have the fastest lap time again, 1.42, which is fantastic. We've got one more race in this series to go and try out, um, and then we'll see how we actually rack up. So let's go and do a bit of practice on that one. Okay, our final race of this series is the Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. So it's not actually the full-length Nürburgring. Um, but just the little sprint circuit. I've done a little bit of practice, uh, so we're just going to go straight into the race and see how we get on, pretty much. Um, it's going to be uh, interesting. Right, here we go. And we're underway in the little mini. Going between a Golf and a Peugeot. I think we're going to get squeezed a little bit. Right, I'm going to break early because I don't want to... Oh, we did have a little punt on the back of the golf there. We may have traded a little bit of paint, but that's okay. This Peugeot in front of us has a lot of turbo flutter going on. It's quite, quite funny, to be honest. Right, we've done the Peugeot around the outside of the golf. We've got a new GP1 in front of us. Right, we're going to do the ST. Oh, I forgot about this corner. Right. We've got a Mercedes and an Astra in front. We've done the new GP1. 
Right, we are climbing up the pack fairly well. I think we started in 12th and we're already up to 5th, so that's not too bad. We've got a few laps to go yet. We got another mini. Whoa! Astra is having a big break for some reason on that corner. You stupid, stupid man. Right, coming into the left and right hander. Yeah, I can never get it slowed down early enough there. No, we didn't actually get a penalty, so that's okay. Alright, let's see if we can get past the DS3 here. We're right on his back bumper. He's braking quite a lot. Alright, let's see if we can do them in this next hairpin. We're going to drive it up the inside. It is quite narrow, but we will make that one stick. We will cover the racing line. That was a beautiful overtake through there. Okay, one more car to go. What is this car in front of us? I don't know. I can't see it. Something grey. Right. Let's see if we can do the golf down the straight here. I think we have got more momentum than it. Oh, absolutely going to trounce it. Goodbye, silly Volkswagen man. I say that. Whoa, it's coming back. We're going to cover the inside. This may be a little bit of a battle, to be honest. That golf is still right there, so we can't afford to make any mistakes. Right, we're coming up to the straight section. This is where we can actually make a bit of distance on the golf. We've got plenty and plenty of power down here. Okay, down the start, finish straight once again. On to the final lap we go. We can't afford to make any mistakes. Because those cars are still not too far behind us. Let's have an early break into the first corner. This first corner is absolutely horrible. It's really, really tight. And this car has so much understeer, it's painful. Right, we're out of the technical bit, we're on to the final sort of half of this lap. We've got this one little technical section to deal with here. Let's see if we can get it right for a second time. That was perfect, and we didn't hit the rev limiter. Fantastic. Right. Last corner, here we go. That was way too much speed coming into there. It isn't going to matter. The cars behind us are too far away to do anything about it. We are going to cross the line in a first position. There we go. Your boy finished in first place at the Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. Um, I think we also had the fastest lap time there, 149. There wasn't even any other 140s. Um, so that was really cool. Let's continue and actually have a little look at the championship leaderboard and see how we racked up on there. Our driver level has increased. We got 40,000 credits for that. And we got a gold trophy for finishing first in the Practical Performance Series and 15,000 credits. So yes, of course, we will accept those. That is awesome. And we are ready to go on to our next series. Uh, let's have a quick look what the next series actually is. Um, so we've done the Practical Performance. The next one is Built for Sport. So it's going to be sports cars by the looks of it and we're going to silverstone but that will be in the next episode uh, we've done the practical performance series in this episode hopefully you did enjoy uh, looks like we're going to be in some sports cars for the next one uh, so join us for that next thursday um, there's a new episode of forza motorsport every thursday at 7 p.m and of course the forza horizon 5 rally series at, at 7pm on a Saturday, uh, make sure you join us for that as well. And I am going to be starting a few more series here as well. We've got a new Stone Runner um, 
season releasing this week so stay tuned for that as well but thanks all so much for watching hope you did enjoy and i will see you in the next one Thank you.